Our second question is draw lines of symmetry for the following figures. Identify which of them have point symmetry. Is there any implication between lines of symmetry and point symmetry? So here for the rectangle we, as we know it will have two lines of symmetry. One is vertical and another one is horizontal. This is rectangle. Then this is equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means it will have three lines of symmetry. So if it is a equal means that many lines of symmetry. So how many number of sides? Three. So three sides, three lines of symmetry. Then square. Square how many? Four sides are there. For that it will have four lines of symmetry. All are equal. For that it will have four lines of symmetry. All need to join at center. This is pentagon. Pentagon means five sides. So it definitely will have five lines of symmetry. One. Two. Three, four, five. So our next one is hexagon. That is six sides will have hexagon. So hexagon six sides means six lines of symmetry. One. Two, three. So here, how many lines of symmetry is three are over? Then remaining with the sides four, five, and six. So here we will get. So how many here we will get like that then so here joining 12 dots so this is heptagon how many seven sides that is one then here on words then here So here how many lines of symmetries we will get seven lines of symmetries so everywhere how to draw here is so from here to opposite one one so middle then here then middle then here how many are over five are over then here six seven so from this all lines are framing so lines are Priming, you can take like that. Then last one is what is this octagon? Eight sides. So here to here one. Then opposite. So with the corners four we will get. Then with the middles, what you can take. So with the, with the middle sides will be like this. So how many eight lines of symmetry? So here they are asked: Is there any implication between lines of symmetry and point symmetry? So definitely there is a relation between point symmetry and line of symmetry. So for the given all the shapes will have lines of symmetries and this will all given polygons that are 
uh, shapes will have point symmetry also if up and down will be same if you check one time up and down it will be same that is if point symmetry will occur means line of symmetry will be there in the shapes if point symmetry is existent means it's already it's have line of symmetry that is the implication we can give thanks for watching please subscribe so our third question is what is that is name some natural objects with faces which have at least one line of symmetry so let's take human faces so actually human faces will be like this so for this one line of symmetry is there existed then what you can take it is some type of fruits so let's take apple apple will have also one line of symmetry next one play balls balls will have also one line of symmetry so balls will have also one line of symmetry or more than one line of symmetry next one animal faces let's take dog So dog will have one line of symmetry, dog faces and some planets that is globes all will have line of symmetries and butterflies what you can see here butterflies so butterflies will also have lines of symmetries like this then what you can butterflies and some insects animal faces and trees also will line of symmetry so plants will also line of symmetries like this thanks for watching please subscribe so in this module we are going to discuss that is fourth question draw three tessellations and name the basic shapes used on your tessellations so so here i used basic shape is face smiley face that is repeating continuously without giving any gap so any pattern or any single figure is repeating continuously without any giving gap that figure that getting shape is called tessellations the repeating shape from one so tessellation you can draw like this so hexagonal that is i am drawing hexagon with this one without changing without giving any gap so i am doing the hexagon shape and next pattern we can draw like the circles so tessellations you can repeat like this circles with some patterns anything you can repeat like this so we can draw like this also so i am drawing tessellations with different pens so we can draw like this tessellations that is without giving any gap without giving any gap you can frame like this or you can take colors also like this you can cut also it can be repeat thanks for watching please subscribe